in talking about and sharing how I wake up. Now, how you wake up may be a little different, but how I wake up usually is what you see is what you get. <laughs> I kind of roll out of bed, thank God for another night that I made it through, and sometimes I think, Lord, I'm not so sure that this was a good thing, being another night, but couldn't you have uh, taken us home, Lord? <laughs> like now? <laughs> but God seems to have his own timing in when he will return. So, since he didn't return last night while I was sleeping, and he hasn't returned today while I'm speaking, then it could be that today is the day that he might return. So I always look forward to that, but I suspect it'll be sometime after 2012. But in the meantime, God gives us the opportunity to enjoy our day. And so when I was sharing earlier about how I wake up, you know, most people that know me, or I should say my wife that knows me, thinks I wake up like this. <laughs> my God, what a novel concept. But often, I'm a little more like this, kind of like this, all over the place. And as soon as I seem to sit down with the Lord, I start feeling like this. Now that may be on the inside. And I might keep it hidden, or it might start to come out in the most unusual times when I'm just happy camper. Because <laughs> I personally like the new day because it's a way to talk to walk with and see God in a new and an enjoyable experience because life wasn't meant to be just something to be lived but to be experienced and you can see that God wanting you to have a positive experience isn't something about the power of positive thinking like running around like an idiot but he wants you to have a complete, abundant life, meaning full of joys, sorrows, agonies, trials, tribulations, growth, development, maturity, and following him in all of things so that you'll be prepared for anything. And when you get to heaven, you'll enjoy everything. Sounds simple to me. Personally, I look forward to heaven. Don't you? Do you think it's just harps? I don't think so. The book of Revelation, I don't see one harp recorded. Matter of fact, in the book of Revelation, it describes heaven completely. John went there and he saw what heaven will be like. So, if you ever really wanted to know what heaven is like, all you had to do was just simply look in the book of Revelation. He talked all about it. It wasn't symbolic, it wasn't figurative, it was what he saw. So he recorded it and told us. So, today and every day as we go through devotionals, we choose to sit back, relax, take a moment to appreciate the time that God has given us to live our day completely, not just experience our day or not just live the day but to have it in a complete wholesome way that would be satisfying gratifying that you could say at the end of the day that this is the day the lord has made and i rejoiced in it and was glad and you can start your day the same you can say this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it because you have another day to discover to uncover, as it were, the fact that God is real, the fact that you can prove it, the fact that you could live in knowledge of and see, experience, and be aware of God in your day. Now, a lot of people experience God in their circumstance, so when things seem to go in a way they understand it and the pieces fit, then they say, that's God, and in some ways it is, as long as you can identify that as being your prayers answered or 
your scriptures that you were reading in the morning or somehow God working in you to show you, to reveal to you that something connected between you and him. And for some people, that's circumstance. Sometimes people feel inside like a, a peace that passes all understanding that they just kind of feel like this is what they should do. So they go by feelings and that's good too. Some people go by faith where they don't have feelings and the circumstances aren't there, but they, they know God because they studied and they've read about him and they treat him as distant, but still love him with all their heart. And that's okay too. But God, the Father, wanted Jesus to reveal his heart which was one of love for you. And he wanted you to learn to know him in as, in as intimate a way as Jesus did. So really, each day that you're alive, it's up to you to discover, to uncover, to see God in the midst of your day, because he wants to be in the midst of your life in a more real, intimate, and personal way that you allow him to be. Because God won't force himself upon you. He may force the circumstances around you to cause you to come closer to him, but he won't force himself on you, much less in you. So it's really a matter of your choice. Today in the devotional God Calling, effort and rest. Come to me, talk to me, dwell with me, and then you will know my way is a sure way. My paths are safe paths. Come very near to me. Dig deep down into the soil of the kingdom. Effort and rest, the union of two. The way I like to say that is, try it. If it works, do it. If it doesn't work, don't do it. Pretty simple. I look at God as being very practical. He deals in my life that way. If I ask him something, I expect him to answer. If I pray for something, I expect to tell him, him to tell me yes, no, or some other response. Because if God isn't responding to you, then I would suggest you seek him in a more intimate way. Because if you're making up the answers, you might be making up your God. But if you're finding yourself in a way being drawn into something you don't completely understand, then that might be God bringing you closer to himself and Jesus wanting to reveal to you how much his Father loves you, right where you're at, the way you are, as you are today. I can't imagine not wanting to know God in a more personal way, but I do know that a lot of people have a misunderstanding of who God is, of how God operates, and they may have a reason why they don't want to draw close to what they feel is a holy God, Though God has made you holy so that you could approach him. But in today's devotion on God calling, I think you see that if it fits for you, as he read the word, as God was speaking through it, that if he is drawing you closer today, why not try it? Why not give it a chance and see if maybe your day will change as you look to him to reveal himself to you. Take it a little bit at a time. Try it. See if maybe you can take some quiet time to sit still, to be still, to get away from any other input and to quietly ask God, are you there? Are you real? Can you hear me? Let me know in some way that I will understand and no one else will know. And when you do that, when you make it just between you and God, I think you're going to find not only will he answer, but he'll blow your mind.